Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. You can see since our last video I've done quite a bit of work on our route and I want to show you what I've done. I've actually gone in and created a different waypoint for some of the towns and cities along the way and I've also added a waypoint uh, when I arrive at a state border like the Oklahoma border. You'll also notice that when I do a border crossing like in Oklahoma or Arkansas, I have used a camera icon. That just is my way of letting me know that's where I want, maybe want to stop and take a picture of the state uh, border sign. You can use any icon you want. You don't even have to add all of these waypoints. I do it because I like for the GPS to let me know how far I am from the next town. So I went through and added waypoints for each of the more or less major towns or cities along the way. And the reason I do that is just because if I am kind of feeling a little tired, uh, maybe I feel like I want to stop and get a drink of water, I know how far I am from the next town where I could do that. Just my way of laying out the route. You can do it however you like. Now, I want to show you how I did these waypoints. Basically, if you click on this route list, you'll notice a circle shows up where the waypoint is, in this case, Bonham. Now, I actually just created the waypoint near Bonham as I'm coming into town. Same thing with Honey Grove, same thing with Paris. You can see these move along the route as we go. Here's the Oklahoma border. Of course, here's our gas stop in, at Fina and Idabel. And then we have the Arkansas border here. Now I continue on to DeQueen, Arkansas, Glenwood, Arkansas, and then of course here's our Wachita National Forest route that we created in one of our previous episodes. But what I want to show you is I've also done some fleshing out on the second day, the route to Memphis from Hot Springs. And let's pull that up and take a look at it. I also changed the colors of the routes because to me it made more sense to use uh, magenta. You'll notice that the waypoints I've created here on the uh, second route, it, I used red flags. That way I know just at a glance that those belong to the day two uh, route. I still have some work to do on this route. It's not completed yet, but I have added a few waypoints and I want to focus on the one in Helena, Arkansas because it will help me illustrate how you have to deal with a divided highway when you're putting waypoints on the map. So I can select Helena, Arkansas and if I click on this little uh, checkbox down here called Center on Selected, it will zoom in somewhat and pull Helena, Arkansas kind of to the center of the screen and that's what I want to do. Now what I want to do now is I want to zoom this in as close as I can get because I want to illustrate to you how important it is that you get your waypoints in the correct position. You can see here that the waypoint that I've placed on Highway 49 is in the southbound lane, which is what I want. When you're zoomed out on the map, if you try to place waypoints while you're zoomed out, you may accidentally stick this waypoint in the northbound lane or in the incorrect lane and then base camp and your GPS are going to do all kinds of weird things to try to route you to that waypoint. You'll start getting messages like make a U-turn or turn here, turn here, turn here, go here because it's trying to get you to that waypoint and it can literally take you 20 or 30 miles off your route just to try to get you to the waypoint that you didn't really want to go to in the first place or you could accidentally click over here somewhere that's not even on a highway. Let me zoom out and show you what I'm talking about. If you tried to place this waypoint from this perspective, you can't even tell that it's a divided highway. So when you're laying out your waypoints on a highway, always zoom in as far as you can so that you can tell if it's a divided highway or a two-lane road. If it's a two-lane road, it's no big deal. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and take a second to click the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.